Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're gonna do nails today. I just took my old ones off. I did leave one on to show you how I take them off. And then I have my setup here and I'm gonna show you real quick how fast and easy these are to use. Now, I got a variety. These are all the same brand. I'm not sure about all the different packaging, to be quite frank with you. This is 2021. Okay, so this is from 2020, this package here. And then this package is new, must be new packaging this year, 2021, but they are all in press. I use the short length press on manicure. And then I know this is this year because I looked, but they came out with just the solid colors too for this year. So I grabbed a box of these. So I have these, plus I have one I've already opened just to move things along, but you'll see them. It's Kiss Impress Nails is what you're looking for. I'm not sure, again, the different packaging, but they're all the same product. Same directions, let's have a, let's do a thumbnail. Guys, I might've lost my mind. And then I grabbed one of these little containers. Now you could probably get away with a pill holder. This happens to be from the craft department. They're a little larger and whatever nails are extra, I'm sticking them in here because several reasons. One, the manic this manicure that I'm gonna take off today, I put on two weeks ago yesterday. Now, over that period, my thumb did lift, so I peeled that off and put a fresh one on, and my uh, ring finger had lifted, and I put a fresh one on. So you get 30 nails in the package. In here, there are 30. You get a bunch of accent nails, and then all these regular colors. They're all slightly different, like there's two of each slightly different size, but I made it work, so if I lose a nail in the middle of a manicure, you don't have to take them all off. Just pick out a new nail and stick it on there is really how simple this is. And I'm sure you could file them down if you want them to fit or clip them a little bit. But anyway, and so I put the extras in here, just keeps them all together. And then one day I'll do like a crazy manicure. Super easy. Now what I have done is I peeled off the nails and I've washed my hands. This one I'll just peel off and I'll get the glue off. But these are my regular nails. No damage. I've had these on now for a month two different sets, no damage, which is nice. Now I'm gonna let them rest just to get some air and stuff to them um, after this manicure, but I wanted them to be pretty for Easter. So I'm just kind of getting at my cuticles. I think I, when they grow long, I do wanna go have like a real manicure done and have them shape my nails and make them all party. But for now, we're gonna do the stick on one. I'm so impressed with these impressed. Um, I did buy some of the Dollar Tree glue on, but I'm a kind of afraid to glue them on my nails, but we'll see. But anyway, let me get the camera down and show you how quick and easy it is to put these on. Hold on one second. All right. Got our nails out. I'm going to show you how I take this off. And it's this simple. Now, if it's still, if it's stuck pretty good, you'll want to use a little nail remover if you do it, you know, before it's ready to come off. But... That's it, it just peeled right off. That's the glue. So it's it's definitely a thick glue. Um, I guess I could reuse these nails, but I probably will not. So we'll just throw that away. They've done their duty, right? So done. Make sure there's no glue residue on your fingers. All off. I'm gonna bring this up here. What I have here, I've separated my nails already by size. So pinky, ring finger, middle finger, first finger, thumbnail. These are all the extras. It comes with a moist prep pad. Um, we'll need that. It does come with an orange stick to help push your cuticles back and then this little tiny nail file. So I'm gonna sit that up front. right there, because I have everybody sorted out. So this little nail file, I mean, I don't, I guess it's just good for, it's sticky on the back, but you know, any rough nails, any rough, hello sir, anything like that. Now, 
Take your little orange stick. You're not helping. Oh, good gravy. Hi. Okay, get down. We're doing nails. Kitties don't do nails. So I'm just giving my cuticles. I mean, this is not a proper manicure by any stretch of the imagination. No, sir. Just trying to push everything back. You know, that's why I said I want to go have like a real manicure. Hi. Okay. Now, you open up this prep pad. If you're, since you only get one of these, if you are changing out a nail or want to use a nail, um, I use nail polish remover or an alcohol pad. Typically, I just use nail polish remover if I would like to um, have it restick because I, you really want to get the oils off your nail bed. And I do have a, an oily nail bed, which is why I have hard times with my nail polish sticking, but this does not seem to have a hard time at all. The directions do say, do your thumbs last. Okay. So I went through and I made sure I got everybody nice and cleaned off. Ugh. Please hold, somebody just knocked these treats down. Okay, I'm back. I just picked up his kitty cat treats <laughs> that he knocked all over the floor. Real life here, guys, with a cat, real life. All right, so everybody's nice and tidied up. Um, I will do my pinkies first. So I've already went through and pulled out the ones to fit my pinkies. So I made sure it covers both sides. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there's a little tab. The tab goes towards your cuticle. You pull it off. This little clear piece and it leaves the glue, oops, the glue behind. So we'll take it. Now this is the one part you wanna make sure. Don't jam it into your cuticle and make sure it's lined up because really once you push it down, it's there. And then you just give it a good squeeze. The pressure is what is gonna help it stay on your finger the longest. So you just give it a good press. Done. Like how easy was that? So now we're gonna do this now. And I will tell you that I have had moments where I put two different sizes on. It, it doesn't matter to me. And you wanna make sure they're straight and you'll get better after your first set. Um, price point on these, very funny, but I bought some at Marshall's that were $3.99. I bought some at Target. They were $6.99 for these plain ones and like $8.99 for those. Walmart, they're $5.97. So honestly, the pricing is just crazy all over the place. So I just take a look and see what they have. CVS has them. I think they're eight or $9.99 at CVS. But I had a coupon, so I got them for 40% off, which works for me. Now I will tell you, if your nails are short like mine were, you're gonna have some sticky up under there. Just leave it. It'll work itself out but you want to make sure your whole nail is making connection with that glue because that's going to keep the water and the moisture out from up under there as well guys how easy is this you know the hardest part was just lining up my nails and making sure i had the right size for each one and that they go straight so that's not on there yet i can still move it around and make sure and then i just push it and then once it's pushed in, it's pretty much in there. Now I'm just pushing it down. And like for t this evening, I'll just, you know, press on them, make sure they're well connected. I have been wearing my dish gloves. Um, to keep the moisture out from under, but I was wearing them anyway, because you know, dry skin, but I shower 
And like I said, you'll notice if it's starting to lift, you'll notice it back here at the cuticle is lifting. And that's when I know it's time to change that, that specific nail. I don't do the whole set. I just do that one specific, whatever that one nail is, and they're straight, whatever that one nail is. They have longer ones too, if you like the, I think they're called coffin nails, the super long ones. Um, that is definitely not something that I would wear. I would end up poking my eye out. But for y'all that can handle that, y'all adults that can do that, go for it. I just thought these lavender ones are going to be perfect for Easter next weekend. But yeah. I mean, guys, these are so easy and they, they don't damage your nails, which is what I like. Now, I, you know, I love wearing nail polish, but it doesn't typically stay on my nails. And then what ends up happening is they peel. I have not had any peeling or drying out with this. The last time I put, the, the first time I did, I squeezed this finger so hard, it was like sore for two days. Let's not do that again, okay? And if you have a little longer nail, like, is that a number underneath those? No. They do have a little bump at the tip. You can, you know, file off. I just let it wear off on its own. So there we have those nails. Next up, and the last is the two thumbs. Bless you, my sneezy kitty. That was the bad one that, oh, see now that one's not straight, but I haven't set it yet. I just sit it on there and then push it, see? So once you have it set on, I'm just putting my own nail underneath my own nail to squeeze it. Yeah, easy. I just love these. I think they're fun and so simple and easy to do. And then this is the last of them. Let's get that on there straight. I feel like some of my nails are not straight. There. And if they're not 100% straight, who cares? I don't care. Right? And then we just squeeze it down. Guys, done. Like how pretty, oops, how pretty is that? Done and done. I'll make sure that one's down and we're done for the day. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed and you try these for yourself if that's something that you think you would be interested in. All right, have a good one. Bye.